What's up guys, welcome to my first episode of Raw to Graded. Now, very simple concept, I'll be collecting Raw cards and going to PSA cards. Um, couple of guidelines though. Firstly, can't go over $20, and that does include postage if I am to buy off eBay or online or something like that. Um, secondly, I cannot send them off for grading until I have collected 10 cards. Makes it easy. $20 per card, send them off $200. It just makes it simple for my uh, pre uh, stoke brain. Thirdly, this I can't just be going out and buying bulk. Like I got to go out, I got to get cards that are going to be very uh, going to be worth getting graded. I can't be just getting bold, getting it great, and selling it for 50 bucks and making money that way. Now, for the first episode, I am a little bit behind. So I have three cards to show you for the first three weeks of this year. First card being... A first edition Tentacruel from Fossil. Now, I already had this in an Unlimited. Um, but I got this from Emmy Collectibles... I picked up three cards for sixty dollars, um, free trade-in value from um, the guys at ME Collectibles. You know I'm a big fan of what they do. But yeah, here we have first edition Tentacruel from Fossil. These usually uh, sell for around about twenty twenty-five dollars. Um, very happy with the uh, condition of this one. As you can see, there's no. Damaging on the back, no widening, no scratches. Centering on it is very nice. I am a strong believer that this is uh, worthy of a 10. The only thing that can set it off is the back here. The bottom is thicker than the top. But with PSA, I believe they do have a 70-30 grading on the back of cards. And um, it's alright. I'm very confident that this is capable of getting a 10. But yeah, I was very happy to get this. It's a very nice card. My uh, first first edition of my modern collection. So uh, it does hold a little bit of sentimental value. But yeah. I am predicting that this does get graded a 10 at PSA. Uh, but I don't see a reason why it shouldn't get a 10. It's a fantastic looking card in great condition. Uh, my card for week two is a first edition Ponyta from Rocket. One of my uh, favorite Pokemons. I've always liked Ponyta, especially uh, liking the fact that it's got a bit of love with the Calarian Ponyta. But here we are with one of the OGs. First edition from Rocket. These go for about fifteen dollars. So we're looking at great looking card. It's got great artwork on it. Um, love the texture and the color and the flange. It just looks fantastic, especially for these older cards, where they were far more simple in their designs. Um, centering on it, a little bit off on the front, but as we know, PSA does have a little leeway. I think it's 60-40 on the front compared to the 70-30 on the back. But if we look to the back here, just there, there's just the tiniest little nick. And if you look down here, we got the tiniest little nick on the corner as well. Um, it's a real shame. Other than that, there is not another thi anything wrong with this card, which you can see. A right. little bit of a bad edge there, but there's no widening on it. It still looks fantastic. And yeah, I was very happy to get this card, being one of my favourite Pokemon. From one of the best sets that was ever produced. Now, if it didn't have those two nicks on the back, 
I'd have all the confidence saying that it would be a 10. But, just to be safe, I'm going to be putting this down as a 9. If I get a 10, I'll be uh, pleasantly surprised and incredibly happy. But I just feel you're going to grade it. It's going to get graded harshly and it'll be a 9. Now, my third card that I got is first edition Rocket Rapidash. One of the main reasons why I did this in one trade was so I could get both the Ponyta and the Rapidash. Um, and of course, it was just easier to do it all at once rather than go down the guy to the guys every week. But yeah, so we got Dark Rapidash, first edition Rocket. Which... Is in a great looking card. I love the artwork on it. It's a real shame they didn't capitalize and make it into a hollow. Because that would it would look fantastic as a hollow in my opinion. Right, it's already got this swirls and the artwork in it. I don't know why Pokemon didn't capitalize on it. But you look at the front of it. There is no marks at all. You could probably say that that centering is perfect on it. And on the back, we got spec widening there, and spec widening there, and that is it. Other than that, it is an exceptionally clean card, in great condition, and it's just satisfying to have both the Ponyta and the Rapidash. Um, these usually sell for around about $30, so I did get a little bit of a deal on this one, I'm pretty happy with that, but yeah, that was my card for week number three, so yeah, there we go, Dark Rapidash, I am probably going to give this one a 10, I don't see why it shouldn't get it. It's got widening. It's not like it's been nicked or anything like that on the back. Centering on it is perfect. Um, no marks on it at all. all right. I'm pretty sure this should get a 10. And if it doesn't, I'll be very surprised at it. But yeah, that was my first lot of cards for... Raw Degraded Episode 1. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe so you can see how they come back in 10 weeks time. Or when, I, when they come back from grading. Whenever that is. Who knows? PSA is taking forever. Uh, make sure you tune in next week. I've already got the cards. They should be arriving next week for you. And yeah, hopefully this series really catches on. Because I'm really excited to work on it. Uh, head over to my Instagram, thickboy underscore geek. I do nearly daily uploads on there of videos, cards, pin, whatever I collect. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. Really want to get uh, that going this year. But yeah, thanks for coming by and we'll see you next week.